Hello everyone and welcome to Farm Flint. This is Tay and today we are going to be in the lab creating a four simple ingredient flaxseed gel recipe that I created and we're going to start with the aloe gel. Now I extract my aloe gel fresh from the leaf but you don't have to. There is um, some aloe that is pre-extracted in a bottle. Um, I'm pretty sure you can buy it. I'm not ex exactly sure where, so um, possibly if you wanna Google it, um, there may be some health food stores online or in your local area in which you could get this um, pre-extracted aloe gel. But I do extract it from the leaf. Um, I, I'm very much into saving money and having the freshest product. So I get both doing the extraction myself. Though you will see here, it is very labor intensive. So even if you buy your aloe from the, you know, the store already pre-extracted or if you buy the leaf and extract it and blend it yourself, please do run it through a strainer to get the pulp out. If you do not, this will end up in your hair, it will dry, and it will look like extreme dandruff. You do not want that. So make sure that you definitely strain your aloe gel. You'll also notice that this aloe is kind of pink. This is a natural occurrence. It can go from clear to pink to like a deep kind of pink color, as you can see here, and then change right back to clear. It's a natural occurrence. It doesn't um, mess with the properties of the aloe gel. It, it's just what it does. So don't worry about it. It will not affect your product in the end, okay? I also recommend that if you plan to refrigerate or freeze your extraction or any other product uh, to date it and once you date it keep an eye on it for spoilage this will give you a range as to how long your product is going to last okay what you see here is me making iris sea moss gel which i do use in my original flaxseed gel recipe but i won't be doing that this time around i'm going to do a separate video so we're just going to stick to those four simple ingredients okay so this is a crock pot i am using and i'm going to combine all the ingredients in, in here so into this pot i'm going to add two and a half cups of aloe gel and to that I am going to add one cup of flax seeds in my original recipe I did use a half a cup and the consistency was kind of thin and I wanted it to be thicker so now I use a whole cup. Now if you want it to be thinner then add less seeds or what you can do is at the end you can add either some water or more aloe gel to the end product and just let it sit for a little while before you extract it. Okay, so I'm using a quarter cup of the marshmallow root. I usually do two tablespoons if it comes in a powder form, but because it comes in this shredded root, as you can see there, and so it works better to get a, a, the right amount if I use a quarter cup instead of the two tablespoons. Now, if it does come in powder form, definitely use tablespoons, not a quarter cup, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing with the slippery elm bark because it's shredded bark, as you can see. But if it comes in powder form, again, I would use tablespoons, okay? So we're gonna mix all this stuff together. Make sure that it's all saturated with the aloe gel. You want to incorporate the seeds, the marshmallow root, 
the slippery elm bark all together. And then you want to put it on low and you want to cover this up and give it about an hour. One hour later. Okay, so it's roughly nine o'clock. Literally like an hour later and it's already thickening up. So maybe I don't need to let it sit overnight. Maybe that's overkill. Or I might can let it go for a couple more hours and then let it sit overnight to like chill. But yeah, it's getting pretty thick. Look at that. That is gorgeous. So yeah, that's flaxseed, marshmallow root. And slippery elm bark and aloe vera gel. Home made. Okay, now that the mixture has chilled overnight, what we're going to do now is the extraction process. And you want to have a big enough bowl. You want to use something in which to strain the mixture through. I use pantyhose that I get from the dollar store. They're nice and cheap. You get four in a pack. You just want to make sure that you double them up because the flax seeds will poke through them easily. And um, using two will prevent this. Um, you want to use a cup that has a wide enough mouth to wrap the knee highs around and to create an opening in which to spoon your mixture in. Now, I'm using a ladle, you can use a spoon, you can use your hands. Just make sure that if you use your hands that you test your skin to make sure that you're not allergic to any of these ingredients. Just because they're natural does not mean that you will not have an allergic reaction. So make sure that you test your skin, okay? Now, you don't wanna overstuff it, just put as much of the mixture as you can in it, leaving enough space at the top because as you strain, the mixture will go through your hands and up at the top. And you'll see what I'm saying as soon as we begin to um, squeeze this mixture through the knee highs, okay? Now I did put on gloves, not because I'm having an allergic reaction, but this is something that you can do for yourself um just to uh if you don't want to make a mess or if you have a um, you know a slight allergy to this okay um so as you see i'm squeezing and the mixture is going right through my hands and the and you can see the extraction coming out at the bottom so you want to keep doing this until you basically don't feel like any more gel is going to come out, okay? This is rather labor intensive, but for me, it's worth it in the end. Um, if there is an easier way of doing this, please do leave a comment down below. Um, I'm always interested in learning new ways of doing things, um, especially if it allows me to work more efficiently. All right, now after I finish getting as much as I can out of this extraction portion here, I can't reuse the knee highs for, you know, spooning in the rest of that mixture. So I have to start the process all over again. I have to get two more <laughs> knee highs, double them up, take the cup and you know, make the opening in which to spoon the rest of my mixture into, okay? So we're basically doing the same process, yes, over again. Okay, so this is a lot of product. If I was just making some to use for one day, then I would only have to do this process one time. But because I want to have some for, you know, for other weeks to come, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make some more. But usually, I, I do this like this process just one time. But you'll see in the end how much I actually get out of all of this. And for me, it's, it's definitely worth it.
Okay, now that we have extracted all of the flax gel from the mixture, we're going to take the flax gel and strain it into this container. Now, if you have a container that has a wide enough mouth, such as this measuring cup, then go ahead and just spoon it right into that container. But because I have a, a small opening in mine, I have to use a funnel. And that's why I'm using this measuring cup because it has a little spout that's gonna help me to guide that flex gel into that funnel. Um, if I were to use the bowl and try to pour that in, I can guarantee it would be an absolute catastrophe. So we're gonna take our flex gel. We're gonna go ahead and pour it into the funnel. And what I could do is just leave that gel there to slowly seep into the container. But because we are doing a video here, I'm gonna to have to use something to kind of shove it down there really, you know, kind of fast. And so I'm gonna use a chopstick. Now this is what I'd like to call my most versatile tool. I use chopsticks for anything I can possibly use chopsticks with. I mean, like really, who saves chopsticks? I do, I do. Uh, I love sushi and I like using chopsticks to do my DIY projects. Guilty. So that's all you have to do. And what I'm gonna do is date it. And then I'm gonna wrap it up and store it in the refrigerator. Cause I'm gonna use some of it right away. And then what I don't use, I'm gonna store it in the freezer until I'm ready to defrost it. Stay tuned for the next video where we will be doing a fenugreek hair pudding.